ready to rock Baby gotta pay the rent My dream is a holiday scene Where you never gotta ask for more Just do what I want to do I got ten too many but I want ten more Don't you know I'm your holiday baby Your holiday girl
Thank ya. Bridget Purdy, hoodoo. Thank you, Bridget, coming on back. Hello, welcome back to the Who Magoo Show. Thank you. <laughs> You're back with this, I hope, Bridget. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, thank you. Thank you kindly. Oh, I love your jams. Hoodoo. Last time we talked, that's kind of got like a spell bind to it, doesn't it? You kind it of go does. With the song. Mm hmm. And uh, that's from your fabulous CD, Still I Rise. Tell us a little bit about that for the audience and all, how that all came to be. Well, you know, I um, was working with a friend, and his name is Dave Oski, and we had both um, worked on a, an EP, and um, we wrote uh, the song Lucille, Don't You Weep, together, and um, we put that in the world out in the world, and we released it as a single, and it went international the first day that it was um, on um, the internet, on a on an internet website, it received 11,000 views, 500 shares, mm-hmm. and so we thought, hey, maybe we kind of have something, so then we, we kind of developed an EP, and this June, we released. I released my first album entitled "Still I Rise," and um, Hoodoo is a part of that CD. And um, and uh, many of the songs that you're playing today are part of that CD. So um, I uh, made the first rounds for a Grammy nomination yes, for my CD, and so we'll hopefully I'll make the second rounds for a nomination in the voting process and that's pretty exciting and um, it's it's gotten a lot of great reviews it was number five on the roots and music charts roots and music uh, report and um, it's it's been a it's been a good it's been a good run since june yeah you know that's where i came across you from uh uh, Betsy Brown, she provided the, the promotion on Blind Raccoon for this awesome mm-hmm. CD. And uh, the other one that you have in there is Blues Angel. Now, is that something, is that your grandma or something like that? I'm trying to recall back to our last interview. Um, you know what? That song was actually ri- um, written um, just be- because of something that personal that it was I was going through in my lifetime, but it's interesting that you say, "Is it my grandmother?" Because right after um, I did release that first on my EP and then released it on my full album, but when that was released, a lot of people started calling me the Blues Angel, and so since my grandma has passed and I've I've had the opportunity to perform it, I've actually in my mind when I see it sing it do think about my grandma because she was quite a little angel on earth um her name was natalie and um you know she woke up every morning and she read her her prayers and in um the last couple of years in her life she would actually lose her spot praying and because um, she couldn't remember where she she would leave, leave off, and we'd have to stop her and tell her, Grandma, you've been in the room praying for five hours. <laughs> hmm. Wow. That's great. And yes, I do recall, I remember you posting things about your grandma, and, and God bless, and sorry to hear about that. But, you know, she lived a great life, and for you to, you know, talk about this and have a song that you can relate to her to bring back Absolutely. to everybody. Absolutely. And that will carry Absolutely. on forever. So I'll tell you what, let's do that right now. Blues Angel right now. Thank Everybody. you. Bridget mm-hmm. Purdy. Thank you. Didn't have a love to 
Thank you, everybody. That is Bridget Purdy again, Blues Angels, and that's for the grandma out there, too. Again, rest in peace, Grandma Purdy. Thanks, everybody. Hello, Bridget. Well-